Hi, welcome to my studio. My name's Chris. In this short video, I'm going to show you how I painted this picture of fall leaves using one brush and just three colors. Let's get started. To demonstrate my Princeton Neptune quill brush a little more thoroughly, I'm going to paint this picture of two fall leaves. I have my reference here. Actually, these are leaves from my backyard. I've sketched them onto my Arches 140 pound cold press paper. And I am going to use these three colors, the Perlene Red, Hansa Yellow Medium, and French Ultramarine. This is part of the Daniel Smith primary set. I have another video on that if you want to check it out on my channel. So by using this rather large quill brush, even for these detailed areas of the leaf, I'm demonstrating uh, what the power of a quill brush, the idea that you can, um, even though you have a large brush with a lot of water and pigment in it, you can do some fairly good detail work with it because um, that fine point that it comes to there. And um, so I'm gonna just, again, I've got uh, fair bit of water here on my brush and I'm doing a wet on dry application and uh, trying to go from the bright yellow on one end of the leaf to uh, red here, darker red, and um, take some of that water off the brush, get a little bit darker application of my red, perlene red, just allow these colors to blend and mix on the paper. I have now removed a lot of the water from the brush and I'm using the drier, thirstier end of the brush now to lift where I want to create some of the veins on the leaf. can see how I can use the real fine tip of this uh, brush once again to put in some of this detail. Another technique that works nicely is to take the brush without any pigment in it, lots of water, and just soften some of your edges. Watercolor excels in the use of both hard and soft edges. So you want to learn how to use your brushes to achieve those effects. Now I'm painting wet on dry. I've allowed the previous paint to dry and I'm applying glazing to uh, add colors on top of colors. Another uh, technique that's really well suited to watercolor, very, creates a very unique uh, transparent, translucent colors. You know, the shadow of any object, cast shadow, is so important. So I'm going to go ahead and add that cast shadow in here. 
what I see going on. That will add a lot of depth to the painting. To achieve this uh, purple color for the shadow, I've just mixed the blue and red of my primary set. It really helps sometime to blur the edge of your cast shadow, so I'll do that now. So there you go, I'm finished with a quick watercolor sketch of two fall leaves. Again, the challenge here uh, was to do the entire painting with one brush, and that was the Princeton Neptune number six quill. A lot of fine detail in the painting, but nonetheless, I was able to achieve that with the really fine tip of this brush. Had to sign my initials pretty large <laughs> due to the large uh, brush, but I think it looks fine.